Huh? Why is Mercury not tidally locked? Mercury is not tidally locked to the Sun because it is in a 3 by 2 orbital resonance. This means that Mercury rotates three times on its axis for every two orbits it makes around the Sun. This prevents Mercury from being locked in a single face towards the Sun. The reason for this is Mercury's elliptical orbit around the Sun. This orbit causes its speed to vary significantly, thus preventing it from being fully tidally locked. Huh? Why is Mercury not the hottest planet? Even though Mercury is the closest planet to our Sun, it is still not the hottest planet in our solar system because it has a very, very thin atmosphere. Its atmosphere is made up of atoms and molecules that are too far apart to trap heat from the Sun. Whereas its neighbor, as in Venus, has a thick atmosphere made up of 96.5% carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that traps the Sun's heat. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Why is Saturn losing its rings? Saturn is losing its rings because the planet's gravity is pulling the ring particles, primarily made of ice, towards its surface. This phenomenon is described as a ring rain, wherein ice particles from the rings fall onto Saturn's atmosphere. While the process is ongoing, it is happening slowly. With scientists estimating, it could take hundreds of millions of years for the rings to completely huh? disappear. Mm. Why is Jupiter an outer planet? Jupiter is an outer planet because it's located past the asteroid belt, which marks the boundary between the inner and outer solar system. Jupiter along with Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are together known as the outer planets or Jovian planets or giant planets. These planets share several characteristics, like they are large in size, they are primarily made up of gas, they have low density, and they have multiple moons. Hmm. Why are planets round in shape? Simple, because Amsum is also round in shape. Oh, Amsum! Planets are round because of the force of gravity. Gravity acts as if it originates from the center of a planet and pulls each point of the planet towards it. Hence, the only way for everything on the surface to be equally close to its center is to form a round shape. However, planets are not exactly round. They are actually spherical in shape. Hmm. What is the Big Bang Theory? No idea about the theory, but the Big Bang looked like this. Oh, um, some. The Big Bang Theory states that our universe began from a very hot and compressed point, which is also known as a singularity. Based on estimations, it is said that approximately 13.7 or 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity violently exploded. This explosion is called the Big Bang. Scientists claim that from this explosion or Big Bang, space, time, energy, matter, and then stars, galaxies, humans, etc. came into existence. How is a black hole formed? That's so simple. Amsum forms it. Oh, Amsum! In a star, huh? the inward force of gravity is exactly balanced by the outward force created by hot gases and radiation. When the star runs out of fuel, this balance is lost and the star's core begins to collapse under its own gravity. This collapse causes the outer layers to blow apart in a huge explosion called a supernova. Now, it is estimated that if a star has at least 20 times more mass than our Sun, then the star collapses to form a black hole. Hmm. Why is Pluto not a planet? Simple, because now Amsum is officially a planet. Huh? Huh? Oh, Amsum! According to the new definition of a planet, a planet is a celestial body which is in orbit around the Sun. It is spherical in shape and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now, Pluto is in orbit around the Sun and it is spherical in shape. But unfortunately, 
Pluto has not been able to clear its neighborhood. As in, it has not been able to remove the asteroids and dwarf planets present around its orbit. Hence, it is not called a planet anymore. Mm. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Earth doesn't deserve those rings. Only Amsum does. Oh, Amsum. It's got to do with Roach Limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roach Limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. <laughs> now, Earth also has a Moon. But since it is beyond the Roach Limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? No big deal. Omsum's rings are bigger. Oh, Omsum! One theory suggests that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because I painted it red. Huh? Oh, um, some. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. What if Earth became half Uranus? Bring it on. I like being cold. Oh, um, some. Firstly, Uranus is four times wider than Earth. If Earth became half Uranus, homes on Earth's Uranus part will suddenly become super spacious. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, Uranus is an ice giant. If Earth became half Uranus, huh? humans on Earth's Uranus part may keep on shivering. Lastly, Uranus has 27 moons. If Earth became half Uranus, our moon huh? may get afraid and run away. Huh? Hmm. What if Earth huh? started dancing? So what? Omsum huh? is the best dancer. Oh, Omsum. Firstly, if Earth started dancing, humans will not be able to stand still anymore. Secondly, if Earth started dancing, Earth's skyscrapers might start huh? breaking down. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth started dancing, Earth may start spilling its water on its neighbors. 